Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So today we are doing another update on the James Hutchinson case out of Ohio, Middletown, Ohio, to be exact. In this video today, you're going to learn about new court records that have just recently been released by the DA in this case. You will also learn about where the police investigation and recovery for James Hutchinson's body is at as of today. You will also learn more about the mental health evaluation and where Brittany Gosney, the mother, is currently being housed and where she will have her mental health evaluation completed to see if she is sane to stay in trial, along with new evidence that has been released and what they have actually uh, spoken about. And there's a lot more to this than we actually thought. So thank you for joining me today. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first, we're going to go over the new evidence that has been released by the prosecutor, the DA in this case. And instead of there being just two locations, the home and the park where James Hutchinson was killed, there are now four locations. And so the new evidence. We now have learned that there is CCTV footage of the Gosney, uh, uh, Brittany Gosney's home where James Hutchinson lived with his siblings and Gosney and her fiance. We now know that Brittany Gosney and her fiance had uh, taken several steps after disposing uh, James's body in the Ohio River. We They had taken several steps to destroy and alter information and evidence in this case. They had removed the hard drive from the CCTV uh, video footage. They also had tried to erase uh, memories and hard drives of a computer and also destroy and alter evidence that may have been on a cell phone. And why would they do this would be to show where the two of them were around in and around the time frame of when James's body you know, was disposed of. Were they both there? Because with the cell phone information, it would have had a GPS coordinates of where the two of them are. Taken into evidence also in this case by the police department was the minivan. A, a search warrant and seizure warrant was issued for the minivan. The minivan is still currently in the evidence uh, um, lockup of the Middletown Police Department there. They also um, searched um, the home and received a search warrant and, and searched the home again. And in that um, search of the home, they listed the following evidence that was gathered from the home besides what I'd already spoken of. DNA swabs from in and around James's uh, bedroom and where they said that they laid him down. Photos from inside the home. Photos from inside the garage along with photos and evidence that was gathered and I it does list a possible DNA evidence that was found at a third location so not the park not the home but a third a different location altogether in this case and then there is what is kind of ambiguous but it says that there is a fourth location where the fiance and Brittany Gosney may have taken items that were used in, in the death of James Hutchinson to a fourth location and hidden. This is not the home. This is not the park. This is not the third location, but a fourth location. Items that were found and photographed at this fourth location include the ropes, and the twine and the, the, the gags that they had used to gag all three of the children, ropes that were used to bind the children, and coverings that were used to cover up James's body when it was laid in the home for that period of time after he was dead. And she gathered him up and brought him back to the home. This evidence was found at a fourth location, ladies and gentlemen. So it obviously shows not only it goes to the motive of the actual charges, but shows that they had conscious effort to destroy and hide evidence from the state 
in this case. Where, now let's move on to where is Brittany Gosney right now? According to news articles you may read on the internet or someone else may report on, they say that she will undergo a complete mental health evaluation to see if she was sane at the time of this and if she is sane now to aid in her own defense. They will report that she it will be undergoing this evaluation on the 26th of April. Ladies and gentlemen, she's not going to undergo the mental health evaluation on the 26th. She is already there right now today on the 24th and she is undergoing that mental health evaluation and it started not today it started three days ago the entire process takes between seven to ten days where they need to have several conversations with the inmate to uh, not only ex observe their behavior but to see if they will have make contradictory stories if they're trying to lie to fool the, the authorities into believing if they were sane or not that's why it takes so long she is currently at the Ohio Hospital for Psychiatric Care. She is not in the jail. She hasn't been in the jail. And sadly, this is due to what is being reported that she will undergo this evaluation on the 26th is lazy reporting by mainstream media. They didn't bother to check to see if she had actually been transported at this point. And if they would have done a cursory check with the jail, they would have found out that she has been transported to the Ohio Psychiatric you know, Hospital there already and she has been there for several days already at this point. Search for James goes on. The According to the statement released by the dive and recovery team, at this point they do not see an opening for them to be able to send divers into the river to try to find James's body anytime within the next week. They are going to send out a basic uh, search team, maybe uh, uh, to a, another area in case uh, it's farther upriver, in case uh, J uh, um, Brittany Gosney and her fiancé were wrong about where they actually disposed of his body. They believe that there's another inlet um, where it's well known for uh, fishing from shore there in the Rush Run Park that uh, they may have actually used instead of the area where they have been searching because they've been searching in one area and then downriver and just slightly upriver from that location this new area that they will be searching or sending a, a small search group to is about a, um, a quarter of a mile upriver farther from their farthest point upriver that they had actually searched before to see if they find any evidence there uh, there is a dock there. There is access to someone, you know, you can fish off of the dock. Maybe they were confused by these two locations. And yet, at this point, there is a growing sentiment within the community, in the local police department and the dive teams, that they, they, have a, um, they haven't come out and said it, but they believe that there's a possibility that if they threw James in, they may have weighted his body down. And this is why he, they haven't been able to recover any evidence of him to this point. If he was weighted down with anything, he would be stuck in some of these, um, these deeper holes that can go down 400 feet in the Ohio River in that area and would be unsafe for them to send divers down until most likely the late part of uh, they said October unfortunately that is when the river uh, starts to calm down you know settle down and the levels drop to a point where it'd be safe for them to actually go into the river so that's it that's the updates on the James Hutchinson case court records, police investigation, mental health, and new evidence has been released. So now they're searching four locations. Not just one, not two, but four. Four locations for evidence in this case and that Brittany Gosney and her fiance went beyond 
just the sick, disgusting thing that they did to this level. Thank you for joining me today. If you like this content, please consider subscribing, give this video a thumbs up, and leave a comment below. I would really like some feedback on this reporting that I am doing on this case, along with all the reporting that I do on this channel. I bring you the facts, the documented facts in this case, and nothing more like every case that I cover. Mm -hmm.